Taboo and Disability, <laughs> episode 3. Hi everyone, in this new episode I'm going to talk about the um, very request, asked, a lot of people ask me. This question is feet fetish. So what do I think about um, feet fetish? So I'm sorry, I'm looking at my um, smartphone at the same time. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about feet fetish. And yes, feet fetish is for me something that I deal with every day, especially on Instagram because uh, many feet fetish come to me and ask me questions about my feet. So to be honest, for me, my feet are just like my hands, so I don't really understand how I can handle with this um, topic. So at the beginning, I thought I have to hide my feet, but at the same time, it's just impossible to hide my feet because my feet are my hands. Um, and finally, I just um, thought that feet fetish is about desire. And desire is very, very, very difficult to analyze. So um, as long as this desire is something that the person is feeling, as long as this desire is something the person deal with that, why should I be um, integrated by this or why should I I mean, desire is something we cannot analyze. Desire is not something logical, like one plus one is two. Desire is something very deep, very intimate. So yes, obviously there are people who are attracted by feet. And what is the problem of that? I mean, this is not my problem. Uh, this is uh, something I cannot analyze. Something I shouldn't have any opinion about that because Everybody has the right to be attracted by what he wants. So, for me, I don't really care about feet fetish. Um, as long as this person doesn't um, like bother me with questions such as can you send me pictures of your feet? Because obviously I will not. Um, but um, I don't have any problems with feet fetish. And I think we are we are in a society where everything should be like normal, like we should just be attracted by um, some parts of the body, where we should just be attracted by um, sexual parts of the body, and we shouldn't be attracted by a part that is not sexualized. But for me, this is uh, quite um, the society the society always want to dictate what human being should be or should do or not and this is not their business so if you are fit fetish i'm not trying to analyze why you are a fit fetish and at the opposite i have also a lot of people who are disgusted by feet I'm not trying to analyze also why you are disgusted by feet, why when you see a person doing something with feet, why should it be disgusting? So I'm not uh, here to analyze, I just don't judge. Uh, yes, if you are not attracted by feet and if it disgusts you, don't be friends with an homeless. This is an advice. Uh, and uh, that's it. I mean, uh, Desire and phobia are two things we cannot analyze. Yet phobia, I think we can analyze, um, but we cannot handle with that. It, this is this way. So I'm just accepting people that are attracted by feet. Uh, I'm not judging them uh, and nobody could. It's just that we are in a society where everything should be controlled. And if you are not like 90% of people, you are weird or you are strange or you are bizarre or something. I don't see 
as a problem to be attracted by a part of a body, of an adult body. So that's it for my opinion about feet, food fetish. So that's it about my opinion about food fetish. So to summarize it, I think that desire is something very deep, very personal, very intimate and we shouldn't, we shouldn't uh, judge any attraction. And that's it. Feet make part of the body. If some men see through feet something very sexy and beautiful, this is their eyes, not mine, and this is their desire, their, their attraction. And yes, most of men are attracted by other parts of the body of a woman and not this part, but it doesn't mean that we shouldn't be attracted. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it. Don't hesitate to ask me other questions and I hope to see you very soon. Bye-bye.